Hey guys, welcome back to another how to tips. So WhatsApp is tremendously useful way to keep in touch with people all over the world pretty much for free. Therefore, it's rather a large problem that users can encounter through and that is when moving your from your new to new Android phone actually you can say or iOS whatever phone you can say from their old phone. So this is due to the way that WhatsApp stores content locally rather than on your web server. Uh, initially now it does. If you still have your old phone in your hand and haven't switched to Android or vice versa, then it's still possible that you may delete, uh, you may miss your old chats, right? So you almost want to get your old chats to your new phone or you, and rather you can say you, you wanted to keep your chats back up always in case you lost your device or you are switching frequently on a new device. So how should you do that? So today I'm going to te uh, tell you how to uh, move your WhatsApp chat to your new phone. Uh, and other way you can say it how to take backup of your whatsapp whatsapp chat in case you need it to restore it to another phone so to that i'm just going to show you the android phone so this is android nexus 6 marshmallow there are two ways actually to do that the restoring whatsapp message on android phone using an sd card if the, your phone supports it and the second is uh, restoring whatsapp message to android phone using a pc so nowadays the most of the phones flagship phones that comes with doesn't support sd card for example nexus 6p and uh, Samsung Galaxy series, for example, Note series, they don't have SD cards. And so you can see, so we will see the first ways uh, in case your phone doesn't have SD card or SD card. So in the WhatsApp, there will be option will be same. There is nothing at all. So we'll first open the WhatsApp and open the three dots menu here, right? You can see uh, and go to the setting here and you will see a couple of options here. So all you need to do is to click on the chats and calls. And you have to select on chat backup right so you can see here uh, by default uh, if your phone has sd card supported so whatsapp will store your things on sd card it whatsapp stalls on internal memory but stores a chat on sd card so you have to just click on the backup and it shows creating backup uh, on your internal storage because the nexus it doesn't have sd cards in case you have sd card so it will show you on the sd card right or if you have removed the sd card it will show the internal memory so it shows the local backup time and size of the messages, whatever it is there. So this is the local backup way in which you can do the locally. And the second way is to backup to Google Drive. So you can see here frequency of how you can do that. So never select to select according to your preference um, and the frequency of chatting frequency of data that you have you can restore it accordingly you have the google drive account and you can select the option here to wi-fi or seller so definitely select whatever network you have in preference and uh, that you can use and if you want to include videos also then you can check out it here so in that way you can so to show your notification so this is how you can create your backup and in case you want to restore it like we see we have stored in two ways uh, we have already stored on internal storage and we already stored on the Google Drive. So now it's time uh, how to restore your WhatsApp message in case you're switching to a new phone or any backup phone. So to do that simple, the first step uh, is to uh, reinstall the WhatsApp in the same account or uh, install the WhatsApp in the new phone with the same Google, Google account that you used previously. So WhatsApp will take your backups from the Google Drive in case it doesn't found any data on your PC, right? So in case you have not stored on Google Drive, so you can do it in second way. Uh, if your phone has SD card supported, then if you insert your new SD card and if you install WhatsApp, so it will take automatically backup from there. So in case your phone doesn't have SD card support, for example, this what this Nexus series or any other phone, smartphones, flagship phones. So all you need to do is you you have to take a PC and then you have to connect your phone to a USB drive like I connected here and you need to do some options here like enable the tethering and all so once you connect that open the explorer you will see a folder right you can see here the nexus 6 got here i will just lower the brightness it's too much high i guess it's fine so in the my computer you can see uh, when your phone connects then it will show icon it after installing the drivers and it shows the nexus c so you have to go to the internal storage and sd card whatever is there so select for a folder name whatsapp here so when you do that you will get the folder whatsapp here as you can see there are a few of the files i got here six folder so definitely you should also have a six folder with you 
So all you need to do is to copy the complete WhatsApp folder to any of the directory. I will copy to my local drive here, desktop. So it is copying the file. So this is actually your backup file that it is copying. I will canceling in case you can see it later. And in the, I will show you what are the files are there. So you can see here, so it has internal backup folders, files that it actually resource and you will get all your databases and internal media files, whatever, what's all things, whatever you have in your current WhatsApp content, you can get that. So this is way how you can do it guys. And uh, make sure you, so it's always recommended to have, you know, backup on the uh, OneDrive folder and you should exclude the videos. So in this way you can do that. So this is also, hopefully if you like this tip guys, give me a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe me to watch more. Let me know in the comments uh, what specific tips you want to see and if you're facing any problem in your Android or in case you're looking for certain apps. I already have my couple of series, previous series you can check out there like best apps, essential apps and Android Marshmallow OS bugs, Android Marshmallow features that I'm explaining and this is how to, how to tips videos. There are so many things. Definitely watch it out and let me know in case I have done something wrong and in case you have suggestions or you want to see something else, something more information tips. I can definitely try to make a video and show it to you guys. So that's it guys. Hopefully you like this video. Give me a thumbs up and do subscribe me to watch more. We'll talk to me next video. Thanks for watching.